Hi, welcome back again. Uh, this is part two of the pedal lesson. Uh, what I told you in the previous video was just about the technical thing, what the pedal is actually doing. And now I'm going to tell you a little bit more about some musical influences of the pedal. So what we have we've spoken about and I told you what the pedal is actually doing. And the first thing I told you is that when you push the pedal, all the strings are sounding, or have the sustained sound, because they're open, they're not damped with these dampers. So this means that when I push any key, doesn't matter if it's this one, or this one, or this one, everything sounds. This has an effect on our playing more than just helping us to play legato and more than just helping us to sustain notes which we can't keep with our fingers it also uh, influences the sound enormously because if all the strings are open we have all the overtones available for sounding so if i push one string with the open if i push one key with the open pedal i have all the overtones around here sounding I'll show you the difference. If I do the same thing without pedal, I have this overtones. If I do the same thing with the pedal, I have a lot more overtones. So what I would suggest is that if you start a piece, the first thing you do is push the pedal down because then you have for the first note, you already have all the overtones available. So if I start, I don't know, let's say the Sonata Pathetique by Beethoven, which starts with this forte piano C minor chord and if I do this without the pedal then I have this kind of sound and this uh, reduction in overtones if I do this with the open pedal so I push the pedal first and then I have three times more overtones because all the strings are open to give the overtones and add a richness into your sound. So this is the first thing, use the pedal whenever it's possible to give the piano the opportunity to enrich in the sound with overtones. Second thing on pedaling in a very musical way is you have basically two different ways of pedaling. You can pedal after you play or you can pedal the same time you play. In order to do, I don't know, some kind of legato in chords which you can do without the pedal so you use the pedal slightly after you play play pedal play pedal play pedal play pedal play pedal this is just to help you doing the legato sometimes if i don't need to use the pedal for legato i want to use the pedal for the overtones i do it the same time so finger and pedal at the same time. This means like... This gives in every of these chords, this gives you the overtones. I do the same thing without the pedal. And now with the pedal. This helps me to adjust a little bit the length of this, in this, time, in this case of the staccato, and it also supports even in staccato, it supports the sound because it gives all the overtones. Big problem always, this I explained to you a little bit also already in the first, um, in the first video, how to take away a sound. If you have the, the end of a piece, and then you just do this, it's off. And if you do it with the pedal fast, it's off. But you can do it very slow. you make the sound really disappear. It has though, and on some pianos, it has the risk of this typical noise it does. This piano is very good in this, it doesn't do this noise. A little bit you hear it, this is when the felt of the damper touches the still sounding string. Sometimes it does and this you must then just adjust in order to make the sound not too audible and this again it helps you a lot if you do it just with this 
half a centimeter of uh, the pedal amplitude, then it's much easier to control. Thank you very much and I hope to see you very soon in one of our, my next video lessons. For more free videos on piano and several other instruments, make sure to click subscribe. And if you want personal feedback from me or other professionals, just visit us on vianavirtuoso.com. Thank you.